All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the sign ghost dimension. This is episode four. Now, if you missed the last video, I highly suggest you go back and watch it. Top right corner is a card there. They dropped a huge bomb on us, a huge hint as to who the killer slash kidnapper might be. We heard you know, something in the ghost box that said something. And if you guys want to know what that was said, go back and watch that last video. Now we are here with the organ party. Kiara is kidnapped still, and she is reaching out to us. He was just here now. Again, saying the he stuff. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm starting to think it's not a he. I'm, 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 I'm really starting to think it's not a he. Oh God, I saw him again, him. For real, who was it? Did you know him, Kiara? No, no idea. He was wearing such a creepy mask. Not all masks are creepy, okay? Like, <laughs> not all masks are creepy. Not every creepy person wears a mask. <laughs> Could have been anyone. Kiara, did you notice anything about him? Please describe in detail what you saw. What kind of, ma <laughs> what kind of mask was it? <laughs> what color clothes was he wearing? Did he say anything? I, I was hoping that there would be something we could ask of Kira that would be more gender revealing, but none of these are really gender revealing, except for like, what did he say? Or did he say anything? But I'm kind of curious as to what the mask looks like. So we're going to find out what the mask looks like. <laughs> Hard to describe. It was white and covered with something like scars. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes were covered with by a kind of black foil. I couldn't make out anything of this of his face at all. He had turned off the light before he came in. I will never get this mask out of my head. You could hardly barely describe the mask. <laughs> but listen to this. I was able to record his voice just after the lights went out. Oh, interesting. Ooh, 11 seconds. Let's go ahead and listen to see what this kidnapper's voice is. Life seems to be worthless to your so-called friends because they don't follow my instructions. Your life seems to be worthless to, to your so-called friends because they don't follow my instructions. Clearly, there was a voice changer there. Clearly, not an actual voice. They were they were using something to to disguise their own voice. So it still could very possibly be a him or a her. Well done, Kira. I will try to extract his real voice. How dare he say we don't care about care? We will do all we can for you, even if it costs my own life. Damn it. No one will die anymore. Care, hold on. We'll get you out of there. Your kidnapper underestimates us. Say nothing, you know. I think your kidnapper underestimates us. I, I, I feel like they don't realize how powerful we can be. I'm so scared he's going to come back. Hmm. What's that now? What's what now? What's happening? They're coming out of the pipes? What's coming out of the pipes? The whole room is filling up with spiders? Oh, that would be freaky. <laughs> I know a lot of people that would not be okay with a room filling up with spiders. They're crawling all over my body. They're on my arm. That is terrifying. Oh, we're about to see it. <laughs> the picture. Uh, I don't see a spider anywhere. I don't see a spider anywhere. I don't see no spiders on arms or nothing. The, right, Kara, there are no spiders. You can't panic now. You're just imagining that. Right. No, they crawled up my arm, and I can feel them on my face now. They're getting more and more. Maybe there's, maybe, I can't take this anymore. Ooh, ooh, shit. Ooh. Huh. <laughs> Kara, listen to me carefully now. Your mind is playing a trick on you. Close your eyes and think about something else. I'm 
I'm trying. I was thinking maybe the killer kidnapper was pumping the room with some type of gas to make her hallucinate. And that hallucination is then creating or, or is creating the hallucination of of her fear, which would be spiders. They're they're gone, but I can hardly breathe. I'm scared. I'm going to faint. I can't take this any longer. It's about time. We, we, we need to get Kara out of there. She's not going to be able to hold up for very much longer. We're going to get you out of there, Kara. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Tessa. Tessa, Serena's sister. Younger sister. Serena's younger sister. I'm feeling really miserable at the moment. I'm a little tipsy already, too. Ooh, Tessa's a little tipsy. What you doing drinking, Tessa? Why, why we, why, and you're crying? She's, she's clearly distraught. She's really upset, drinking, crying, feeling really miserable. I thought maybe feeling really miserable just meant like, drunk? I don't know. <laughs> What's going on, Tessa? It's understandable all of this is taking its toll on us. Can't drown your sorrows in alcohol. Look, I'm not going to assume that we know what's going on with her, so let's go ahead and ask her what is going on, Tessa. I don't even know how to say it. I actually have no right to cry on your shoulder right now. It is you guys whose lives are in danger, whose friends are dying or being kidnapped, and all because of my own sister. Yeah, but you can't blame yourself for that. That has nothing to do with you. I don't even dare write anything in the group anymore because I'm afraid of surrounding or sounding hypocritical. But th that's the thing, though, Tessie, like you, it, it's it's not your fault. You can't blame yourself. But if you know of a way that could possibly help us, like we would we need to know if you if you know of something that can help us. I'm sure you notice how quiet I've been today. And now I'm worried you'll think I'm cold and dismissive, but I'm not. I just don't know how to deal with this. Don't think like that. We know it's not easy for you either. Tessa, we really have other things to worry about at the moment. So your only concern is what we <laughs> what we misperceive you. Look, it's you don't need to think about that. We know it's we know it's hard for Tessa as well. She probably feels a lot of blame. That's kind of you tongue tied. It's good to get this off my chest. And let me emphasize again, I'm here for you guys anytime. Even if I don't write a lot in the group chat, we know that, Tessa. We know. We know you're here for us. Unknown. Unknown. Mr. or Mrs. Kidnapper. I did warn you. Your investigations will have an aftermath. Kiara will feel the effects of your actions. Tell me who you are. Why are you doing this to us? Leave Kara alone. She didn't do anything to you. So if we ask him, ask him or her who they are, they're not going to answer. They're not going to tell us. So, but if we ask them why they're doing this to us, that might they might actually give us an answer. Might actually answer this question. You have only yourselves to blame for that. Your investigations will only end in agony. My identity will forever remain a secret. Huh. But I will give you a glimpse into my thoughts. Memorize my next words carefully. You see, I believe you and I are very similar. You see, I believe that you and I are very similar. I believe that you and I are very similar. How, how are we similar? That makes you the only one who believes that. How would you know? No way. Say nothing. How, how would you know? How, how would this person think that me and this person are similar? You will understand this soon if you follow my instructions. Now think about the person who is most important to you. Nora, Leah, Dad, Mom, Hannah. Ooh, who is the person that's most important to us? Between these five. 
how can I choose? <laughs> How can I possibly choose between Nora, Leah, dad, mom, and Hannah? I mean, I'm going to have to go with family regardless. It's going to be between dad, mom, and Hannah. If it, There we go. But who's most important? I mean, mom's been struggling with medical. She has that tumor. Dad's been, been there for mom. I've been there for Hannah. How can I choose between the three? I don't know. I feel like we've talked to mom quite a bit. And with her going through her all of her medical stuff, you know, with the brain tumor and everything, having to go for surgery. And uh, I guess as far as a character in this game, we're going to go with mom. I mean, I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. It was like flash. I, I thought something was going to happen. Picture him or her in your mind. Now think about the things you love about this person. The laughter, the quirks that you, were, that you later grew to love. The good times. The bad times that have overcome regardless. Now imagine how all of this is suddenly getting ripped out from your life. How someone wants to steal this person from you. Wouldn't you do everything to prevent this? Wouldn't you sacrifice everything to keep that person by your side? So I, I feel like we're no longer talking about myself. We're talking about unknown. So unknown is doing something to keep a certain person in their life, the person that they love the most. And something was happened to this person that was getting ripped, that was ripping them out of their life. How someone wants to steal this person from you. Somebody was stealing this person from you. Wouldn't you do everything to prevent this? And this person is now doing whatever they're doing to prevent this person from getting ripped from their, from their life. Wouldn't you sacrifice everything to keep that person by your side? I don't know. No, I'm not like you. I mean, would I kidnap somebody to keep, a certain person by my side. I don't I don't know what they're trying to imply. Like would I do everything possible to keep It's hard to say. I mean, never been in a position to do something like that. How how can I ever make a decision? I just don't know. I don't know what I would do. You don't seem totally averse to it, though. Love is what you're willing to give, and I'm willing to give everything. So they're literally willing to do and give anything to keep this person by them by their side. And if Kiara has to die through your fault, that's only a small sacrifice. Don't think I would stop here. I would send each and every one of you to the afterlife. Your lives are worth nothing compared to to what I am protecting. This is your final warning. Do not try to contact me. So what are they trying to protect though? I'm starting I'm starting to really starting to think that the killer and the kidnapper are, are clearly one and the same person. And they're doing this to protect something, to keep something from being ripped from them, to keep a special person from being ripped them from them, to keep to keep that person by their side. Hmm. And they're willing to kill each and every one of us to do that. Helmut. Unfortunately, the evaluation of the surveillance camera was unsuccessful. The manhunt has now been launched. I called in units of the riot police, the rescue service, as well as the search dogs. The full program. Are there any clues yet? Were you able to locate Kira's cell phone? 
When can we expect results? Were you able to locate Kiara's cell phone? Unfortunately, her mobile device is not currently registered in any cell. Hmm. Kiara had to turn off her phone as to not alert the kidnapper. She had hardly any battery left and wanted to be on the safe side. That too. Her reception is so weak anyway that precise tracking is not possible. And let's move on to the ghost video and, and the curse on it. As you can imagine, I have a thousand unanswered questions for you. Helmut, I will explain everything in detail in a phone call. Feel free to call me now. FYI, I'm heading home real quick. Got some fresh clothes. I don't want Wolf to suspect me too. <laughs> it's probably best just to tell Wolf anytime we're doing anything so that way we're not suspected. Enos. Hello, Enos. I wonder how your music career is going, Enos. So before we start talking to Enos, though, we haven't heard hardly at all from Professor Kruger. Now, do we know if Professor Kruger has a past? Like, does he is he married? Is he does he have a daughter? Does he have any kids? Like, do we know anything about Kruger's past? I can't think of anything. I can't think of of if he's married or any if that's ever come up. I don't think he is. So who in Kruger's past or who in Kruger's life would Kruger want to keep by them side or keep by their side? And how is it being torn away from them? Hmm. Because Kruger is the only one I can I'm, I'm really sus on right now. Because whoever this killer and kidnapper is, they're doing it because something is being torn from them. Something is being, something, someone, or some, yeah, so it's, it's got to be a person. Some person is, is essentially being threatened to take away from them, and, and they can't do that. They, 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 I'm so confused, <laughs> but I feel like I'm on the right track. I feel like I'm on the right track. Let's talk to Enos. Tongue-tied. Yes, Enos. I really thought I could trust you. Can tr what? What do you mean you can trust me? I have just been visited by Detective Strasser. Kiara was kidnapped. You're chasing a murderer, and you don't tell me about it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I guess you can't trust me, Enos. We were kind of deceived. Look, I couldn't tell Enos everything that was going on. If if Enos was to know what was going on, she should have heard about that from her own sister, not from me. Not for me. Look, I, I haven't even told my family about it. What makes you think I'm going to tell you, Enos? Like, <laughs> Kara is my sister, for God's sake. I know, and that's why she should have told you. What exactly did Strasser tell you? I'm sorry. I know I I was I know it was a mistake. Kara would have never wanted us to involve you in this. That that that's plain and honest truth. Kara didn't want us to involve you in this, and and quite honestly, that it's for the best. How would you know what Kiara would have wanted? She's my sister, not yours. No, but she told me, Enos, okay? <laughs> she clearly wasn't telling you anything. She should have told me what was going on. Right, and she didn't, so she didn't want you to know. She didn't want you involved, Enos. What, that's, my, my point's being proved, and you're helping me. Then I wouldn't have left her side for a second, and she might not have been kidnapped. Shit, tongue-tied. I had specifically asked you about Kiara acting so strangely, and what the detective found in Kiara's room makes it even worse. Dear Enos, ooh, what's happening? What the hell's happening? Are we okay? Ooh, shit. Okay. Ooh, shit. Fuck. You have two days left. Ooh. Mm-hmm. All right, we 
back to <laughs> back to normal. Dear Enos, if you're reading this, we didn't make it in time, then I will no longer be alive. There are so many things I still want to say to you. You are the best sister I could have asked for. I will miss laughing with you, crying with you, and I would have loved to see you become a great singer. I want. It, it ended at I want. Hmm. That said we had two days left. Kiara will not die, I promise you. We must not lose hope now. Kiara's a fighter. The kidnapper chose the wrong victim. Look, we're going to do everything we can to make sure Kiara does not die. And I hope that we can do that. <laughs> I hope we can make sure that doesn't happen, Enos. I'm really sorry. Tonks, I, the people from the forensics department are just arriving. Please get back to me as soon as you hear anything new. All right. We'll do, Enos. All right, we're back with the organ party. Norma. What's going on, Norma? Oh, my God. What, 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 oh, my God. What's going on? What do you mean, what's going on? Oh, no. What happened, Norma, from Elkie? Are you already at your place? What's going on with Norma? Yes, Henry, I'm standing in front of my house right now. There's a light on in my dining room. Somebody's in her house. And oh God, there's something in there. Some Somebody's in her house. Why would anybody be in Norma's house? Oh, that's creepy. I don't know if that's Serena. Serena just wants to scare you. You shouldn't go in without Henry. Norma, get out of there. What if that's Kiara's kidnapper? Hmm. I don't think you should go. You shouldn't go in without Henry. I think if Henry goes in with her, it would be better. Because if it is Kiara's kidnapper, we want to get a, get a hold of this person. But I don't want to send in Norma by herself, so... Don't go in without Henry at the very least. I just want to get some fresh clothes. It's just shadows. I have to finally get over my fear of Serena. I don't know if that's Serena. As you already say, until the seven days are up, nothing can happen. Yeah, but what? that's not Serena. Normal wait, I'm on my way. Go get her, Henry. Go get your girl, Henry. Nonsense. I have to manage on my own for a change. I'm going in. Don't do it. Uh, I really don't think it's a good idea. I really don't think that's a good idea. If I don't get back to you in five, send a hearse. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> I don't find this funny at all. Henry, please get on your way just to be safe. Just to be on the safe side. I don't have a good feeling at all. Neither do I, Elky. We're on the same page right there. This this cannot be. The voice, I know it. Whatever you're hearing, it's not real. Norma, you're scaring us. What whose voice? What are you what are you, what are you talking about, Norma? What's going on? The hauntings are starting to pick back up again. My sister, Claudia, she died 10 years ago. But that and there, that's definitely her voice. So it's definitely Serena then. It's definitely a haunting. Norma, listen to me carefully now. We don't know what's going on in your apartment. Please wait for me. I'm leaving at once. You better hurry up, Nor uh, Henry. I thought you'd already be on your way by now. No, I, I, I want to see my sister. So it's too dangerous, Norma. You don't want to do that. For God's sakes, my heart is pounding really fast. Okay, Elky, you're, <laughs> you're not freaking helping. It's her. Oh, no. Claudia's here. We're about to get a video or a phone call. Norma, that's not real. 
What do we, yep, yep, yep. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Brace yourself. Oh, shit. Jesus, Norma. Don't sneak up on me like that. When did you get here? Are you all right? She died 10 years you ago. Don't look well. You really shouldn't drink that much anymore. Norma? Ooh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Man, my skin started crawling. <laughs> I thought something was going to happen. It's not real. I have a bad suspicion. Serena's powers now seem so great that she has the ability to take on the form of other people. For a moment, I really thought my sister was sitting in front of me. We shouldn't un underestimate Serena. She's been waiting for 15 years for her death to be solved and to find redemption. That makes her dangerous and really powerful. Yeah, no shit. I thought she was just trying to scare us. What do you mean by powerful? What else would she be capable What else? Is <laughs> Tell me, Henry. What else would she be capable of? Poltergeisty things? Throwing shit? I can't yet judge the full extent of her power. We have to stay on guard. Physically, she can't hurt you yet, but mentally we are all strained and we cannot let her break us. Claudia, it would be so nice to see her again. You just saw her. I miss her so much. That was really painful just now. I bet. I bet it was. I bet. That's got to be really tough. Serena knows exactly where to hit us to make it hurt. I just want to get out of here now. I'll get my stuff and then I'm off. Hurry up, Norma. You better hurry up. Heartache? The group is ready to go? This is a new, a new group called Heartache? It's got Leah in it. That's interesting. I'm not, ooh, I don't know about this, uh, this new group called Heartache, but <laughs> we'll find out what this new group is in the next video. It's got Leah in it. I don't know if it's just going to be me and Leah. Maybe it's got Leah and Nora in it. That's going to be interesting if that's the case. I have no idea. I hope you guys are enjoying the sign. It's starting to get intense. We are starting to find out more and more information. The killer kidnapper is doing this to prevent a loved one or somebody who's really special in a lot in their lives from being ripped from them. I feel like that's a huge clue. That's a huge clue that I'm going to be thinking about for a very long time until, until we have to make that fatal decision as to who the killer is. I'm I, I've been sus on professor Kruger this entire Time. I mean, from day one, I was sus on Kruger, and I'm starting to become less suspicious of Kruger, but I don't know who it could be. I just, I don't know. I don't know if it's a, if it's a guy or a girl. I'm starting to think it might be a girl, but who could it be? Who, who the hell could it be? Could it be Enos? Tessa? Could it be Leah? Nora? Hannah? I have no idea. Kiera? Could it be Norma? I don't think it's Norma. It might be Norma. I have no idea. I don't know. What are you guys thinking? Let me know in the comments below. Who do you guys sussing now? Think about all the clues that we just had. Think about the ghost box that we heard in the last episode. Or not the last episode, but the last video. Think about the ghost box. It definitely said she and her. It's starting to make me think that it's a she and her as, as the killer kidnapper. I, that's who I think it is. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel and join the Tethered. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Spotify. Links are in the description. As always, thanks for watching. Love you all, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.